no durian for me, man. Oh, I can't eat durian. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a new video. We are leaving Davao City. But first, Kulas is taking us to this fruit stand. And there's a lot of durian here. Look at that. Now, I've seen a lot of durians, and this one actually looks really good. But I'm not gonna have one. Look at that. It's so spiky. Pomelo, it's a baungon in local term. Baungon. And what is the price of it? 80 pesos per kilo. 80 pesos per kilo. I think that's quite good. I remember buying it for 150 in Cebu. Uh, this is Nekmer. See how it is. Yeah. Let's get one bite a try. So good. Delicious fruit here on the side of the road. But we're going back to the uh, van soon. And I have no idea what the itinerary is today. So we'll go with the flow. Come up and see your village. Okay. Okay, there's some local people over there shouting at us. We want to go check out their village. Where should we come up? There? Okay, okay. So we're gonna go say hi to them. Hey guys. Hello. <laughs> Hello. What's your name? I'm Hazel. Hazel. I'm Finn. I'm Gina. Gina. Can I see your village? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Is this a well? Oh. Ah, okay. There's no water. Oh, it's water there. Super friendly people. Oh, there's a road over there. Also, the water goes down here. Can I see? Okay. Go, 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 go. <laughs> oh my god! What's going on? <laughs> what? I'm single. I'm single. <laughs> what is your name? Iceland. Iceland. What is this village name? Uh, Baliti. Baliti. How many people live here? What is that? Uh, cacao, cacao beans. Cacao beans. Cacao beans. Oh, right. You can just see. Of course. Lima, Lima, five, five days. Five days five okay, so these nuts over here, they need five more days to dry out. We found ourselves in a How cool is that? <laughs> see you guys. <laughs> We randomly stumbled upon these uh, local village people. They said, hi, hi, come, come say hi to us. So I decided to run up there, up the mountain, say hi to them, then join me. And of course, the awesome. Filipino friendliness.
think it's also important to share a message that one of the uh, things that we're doing here in Mindanao is to showcase that it's not so much stereotype being here, dangerous and whatnot. You can go up to the high in the mountains, just like we're doing now, and it's safe. Up in the mountains, meeting people, <laughs> telling everyone where we're going, where we're driving, all these five white dudes, and uh, yeah, it's safe for sure. Bye! Bye bye! Hey! <laughs> so we're driving up the mountain for our lunch break and it's looking really beautiful over here. Different types of trees. Daniel said it looks like Switzerland, which it certainly does. Wow, look at this place. Now that is a strange feeling to be here with these kind of or these type of trees. Huh. Feels like California, some part of that. Here we go, lunch time. That sisig looks amazing. No fats. Is this the pig ears? Yeah. Chicken pinola. We also have a loads of board games which brings up a lot of memories for me because I used to go to our summer houses to my grandpa grandma when I was a kid all the time almost every single weekend I used to play a lot of games and this is one of them Uno I used to play this all the time So me and Kulas, we have been droning the crap out of this place because this is one of the most beautiful views I've ever seen, at least here in the Philippines, and especially being here on top of the roof. Dude, Look at that! Where's stairs? Right here. Oh, is this the stairs? Yeah, I didn't know oh. this either. There's stairs. We walked up here. We got so excited we were droning. There's mm. stairs. No way. Really? Oh. Push forward. Push forward. Push, okay. Lift it up though. Like lift it up. Oh. Oh. Inside or out, Jennifer? <laughs> There's stairs, you went up the ladder. Oh my god, we're so dumb. Oh, Jennifer, I think Jennifer is a legend. She has made my day, I'm so excited right now. Another thing that I'm really loving about this place is of course the altitude. With the high altitude, you get these beautiful pine trees. Just like in Northern California. Such a beautiful place and the guys, they're over here. So You've been to Baguio, right? No, I haven't. Oh, yeah, me neither, dude. We, we should go sometime. Oh, let's do it. Let's we're, do it. We're, we're gonna keep going up north. You guys are gonna see way more pine trees. We're still a little low right now. Such a cool place. Okay, we're back inside. I'm gonna take a look at our bed. This is Brett. Can you show oh, me? Come on, how, Give me why would you not sleep under a set of stairs? I mean, it's, it's, well, yeah, yeah, it's, whoa, it's so cozy, dude. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, for us. I Check almost, out. I always want to stay two nights here. She lets us. I know we should. Explore. There's three different waterfalls. We're debating now if we should stay one or two nights. I obviously want to be here too. Bunch of people can sleep over here. And then we got two bedrooms. One is over here and another one here. <laughs> make make. Let's take it a break. I'm so pumped. Woo! Dinner time. 
All right, we're gonna end the vlog here. We're gonna have a lovely dinner, everybody together. It's been a pleasure. We're gonna continue tomorrow, do some wonderful exploration to a place none of us have been. So until next time, guys, peace out.